What's going on everybody? This is Super Nintendo Mike here and this is this part two. I don't know how I'm gonna title these videos, but this is the second part of my E3 recap of the conferences from the major companies in the gaming industry, which include Microsoft, Electronic Arts, EA, Ubisoft, Sony, and then to wrap it up with my dearest Nintendo. <laughs> dearest Nintendo. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about EA. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, they showed a lot of sports games. Just maybe a little too much. I'm surprised they didn't throw an NBA 2K. I'm surprised they showed um, the... Uh, I'm surprised they showed... Well, I'm actually, no, I, I take that back. I'm not surprised they showed soccer. I'm surprised they showed, um, what's it called? UFC. I'm surprised they showed that. I mean, Bruce Lee with the water in the bottle thing, which is famous and such. Which is pretty cool that you can actually fight as Bruce Lee. That was very interesting. But, but um, I don't know about showing that game. They should have showed NBA 2K if they're going to show sports games. And uh, I'm surprised, well... Nah, never mind. I'm, never mind. I'm. I was thinking they were gonna do another Need for Speed, but that's probably gonna be next year. And if they showed off it off this year, because I know that franchise is not done. There's no way that franchise is done. They're gonna come out with the game next year, E3 2015. Next Need for Speed, it should be a good one. Rivals was okay, but uh, Hot Pursuit I thought was really good. So we'll just have to see about that. What else? Um, Dragon Age Inqu Inquisition. That looks very interesting. It looks a lot like you combine a lot of MOBAs and MMOs and RPGs and such. It looks very interesting. It looks like a combination of a bunch of games. Can't wait to play that. I'm almost guaranteed going to get that on PC because that looks like one of the better MOBAs out there on the market. It looks a lot of fun. A lot of League of Legends and Dota 2 brains were probably put into making this game and like uh, the creativity and the influence but it looks really good can't wait um i haven't pre-ordered any games yet i probably will soon but um i don't know i just haven't made my, my mind yet on which games to pre-order but uh dragon age inquisition is one of those games another game i want to talk about is um probably what was it Sorry about that, I had to think of it for a second. Uh, wh what I was trying to say was um, Battlefield Hardline. Now, that game looks so interesting. I've played the beta. That game is just oh, so much fun. Can't wait to actually uh, play the full game. It's going to be amazing. It's a cops and robbers sort of gameplay like Payday. I'm not really that big of a Payday fan. so I mean, but with if you combine that with Payday with uh, Battlefield, it's... It should be a very interesting game, and it's a new um, the new publisher. I forgot their name, but it starts with a V. Versality or something like that. Um, <laughs> I'm very sorry, but I'm just not too familiar with the company. I've probably played games made by them before, but I just don't remember their name off the top of my head. Probably in the description or on the video or something like that. I have no idea if I remember to edit stuff. I probably will have to because I made a little boo boo, just like brain fart. <laughs> But um, that is probably one of my most anticipated games of the year, like right now, even though we're halfway through the year, Battlefield Hardline. I was really expecting a next Battlefield game to come out this year because EA is really pressuring them. It's sad, but I knew they're going to get a new team on this next Battlefield game because there's no way that the team working on Battlefield 4 could do this Hardline because, well, I think the other team thought of the idea. They approached DICE and EA... They're part of DICE, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I just thought it was a really good idea. It's been in the making for like a couple years, I think they said. They had the idea. Just that now they're using the Frostbite 3 engine. They're going to have the net code fixed for a uh, hard line, and it uh, should be a very interesting game. Looks a lot of fun. I played a Blood Bloodline or Blood Money, whatever it's called, Blood Money. And um, Heist. I don't like Heist because it's like payday but uh even though blood money is too but yeah they're both about the same it's just that blood money you you get to 
steal money from a vault and then you get to take it to your vault and the police have to get it back depending on what team you're on there's zip lines there's gas masks you get to drive um these sedans and armored uh trucks they look it looks really fun it's just that you can explode vehicles very easily which i don't think they're gonna fix because it kind of makes sense too but just like shooting an assault rifle at a car blows it up in like less than seven seconds I'm not really buying it, but it's whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't usually drive vehicles in games anyways, so yeah. But it looks a lot of fun. Uh, there's a, currently a beta going on right now. I don't know when these videos are going to go up, but hopefully soon. And uh, it looks a lot of fun. It's available on PS4 and PC to play the beta. I'm assuming that it's only exclusive to the two, but we'll just have to see. It's not like your regular dice game where it's on every platform. It's by a new team, so I don't know what EA is going to do. I don't know what the team wants to do. We'll just have to see. That would be fine if it's just on two platforms. I mean, well, actually, to be honest, I don't, I don't even care. But it looks a lot of fun. Definitely going to pre-order that and definitely going to play that. I hope there's no premium involved in that. That would be terrible for the most part but kind of good because you'll probably get more maps i don't know if there's gonna be a campaign i don't remember if they talked about that but it just looks uh really good so yeah that was ea's biggest game and uh that's all that really popped out to me sims 4 looked oh some very bad humor i mean i'm not really a sims player i played a couple of games back in the day but this sims 4 mm, I don't know if it's going to sell that well. Maybe the hardcore Sims fans will buy it, but anyone that's like not familiar with Sims, I don't think they're going to like it. It doesn't look that appealing, to be honest. I could be wrong. You could argue with me. But in my opinion, I, I don't really buy it, even though I've played Sims games before. It looks very, very awkward. <laughs> so that's really all I have to say about um, EA's conference. They showed off other games, but those are the games that really stood out to me. And uh, looking to get, looking to um, get. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video with Ubisoft's press conference, which is very interesting. And then after that is Sony, and then I will do Nintendo. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.